this is a video that I hadn't planned on making, but I've had a lot of requests recently. Uh, why haven't I posted any more videos? Uh, well, there's been a change of plans in my life. Uh, I came to the Philippines for a Filipina. Uh, she's a wonderful lady, but there were just a lot of issues that we couldn't get resolved. Um, I love her and the girls, her two daughters, a lot. Uh, they meant a lot to me, but it's not something that... It, it, I can't live in a relationship that, that I'm not completely happy in. So, we just decided to go ahead and part ways. Um, this is my next leg of, of my Philippine journey. Uh, I know the other Americans and the other people that have video blogs, they, they usually highlight themselves and their lives and their uh, families uh, and the things that they do during the day. Um, and I've been focusing on the Philippines. I've been focusing on providing you guys with high definition videos of Iloilo, the beautiful places here in Iloilo and Gimaras Island. And uh, I've had some requests for people to start showing me, showing you guys a little more about me and how I've adapted to the Philippines. This is a different place from America. This is totally different. And if you think you're going to come here and expect the, the, the things that you see in America, it's just, just completely different. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's really a wonderful kind of difference here. You've got a land with, you've got a country here without the entitlement programs of America. Uh, they don't get handouts. The Filipino people have worked very hard for what they have. The streets are lined with sorry, sorry stores. They're lined with, which is a little small mini grocery store. Uh, streets have got street vendors. The moms and pops will cook the foods at home, and then they will go to the street and sell sell what they have in the street way. The, uh, the people who work real hard for the few pesos that they get. The cost of living is cheap here, and there's not a lot of money to go around. People here, the majority of the Filipinos, of course, there's, there's the ones that are better off with a better paying job in the businesses, but they live in very small, humble homes, either in Nika huts or hollow block construction with the, a thin, thin concrete, you pour concrete inside of it, you stack them up, they got a house. Uh, slap some tin on top of it. And amazingly, these people are happy. They don't expect anymore. They would like to have more, and a lot of people blame it on the Philippine government, but it's, it's just a way of life here, and, and many are content with it. I'm going to continue to bring you videos. I know the other people here, they pop up a video up every two or three days. I've got another new video for you to watch. I will try to do more of that. I can't promise it because right now I'm in this, I have moved. I have my own place now. And I spent a lot of time focusing on getting a range there and learning where I will take my laundry, where I will eat every day, and the things that I'm going to be doing in my new life here. I am dating. I would like to date some more. Uh, I've met a few wonderful Filipinas. Um, but I have, don't have anybody in set in my mind yet. Uh, I'll get, I'm going to try to get out and see some of the other islands and take more videos for you. In the meantime, there's a lot of Philippine talent here that I haven't, haven't uh, videoed yet. Uh, people do things by hand with very crude tools, and they do a very good job. And, and I'm honored, honored to be a part of it here. Uh, but I'll bring you the videos when I can, and I'm going to try to get out and maybe do some other places besides Evo Elo. But first, I have to get comfortable with my new life, and then I can get, move forward. Uh, many ask me, well, Mike, why don't you move back to the Phil uh, back to America again? Uh, you've got friends and family there, and uh, here's a strange place for you. And my answer is always the same. I don't have anybody left in America. Uh, I don't like a lot of the things that happen in America now, and I really enjoy being around the Philippine people. Uh, I'm going to stay here as, as long as I can. And hopefully that's forever. Uh, if you guys got any questions, email me at mike at 
myphilippinejourney.com or go to myphilippinejourney.com look at the end of my videos my later videos and I've got my email address there for you uh, right I uh, just had some company I had to stop excuse me for that so if you guys got any questions you've got anything that uh, any, any questions about the people or the products or the foods foods I really can't help you on because I'm a Jollibee and, and a McDonald's guy right now still uh, the foods I'm getting used to the, the Ponce Pihon and the chicken and the rice but everything else takes a little getting used to uh, I love hearing comments from you folks. I love getting your emails. Uh, you're just kind of like my second family. So uh, for now, I'm going to leave it at this. Uh, and I hope you watch more of my videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.